not those shriveled black things. I'm talking real trees. Brown bark, green leaves. The oasis. Synthesis, all that good stuff. Now what if I, the all-powerful three dog, bow, wow, wow, would it tell you that somewhere right here in the capital wasteland is a place, lots of trees. The oasis, the way north. Oasis of green and that depressing sea of brown. Look, it was years ago, and I may have been experimenting with Jet at the time, but I'm telling you, it's out there. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog. Oh, and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. Radio Free Wasteland. And we're here. You. Up next, we've got a public service announcement. Listen up, children. This stuff's important. Listen, kiddos. Never forget the importance of periodic weapon maintenance. Rifle, pistol, police baton. I don't care which. If your weapon is falling apart, the only wasteland asshole is gonna kill is you. So be smart. Oh my god. Salvage those parts and make repairs as best you can. Now, some music. Yeah, I think I'll pull my miniguns. I'm sure I have like hundreds of rounds for that thing. Yeah, I have a thousand. But I feel like I had a lot. And do. I can see it before I even. Response from the intercom. Who would have thought? Let me use a stim pack. Let's go buy more of these or something. Seriously. Wrong gun. Sneak attacks. Yeah, I'm jamming V, so uh, it's probably, he's probably up above. He's probably, he's probably in there, but. Oh, this is weird. Notice me crap. Cause I was running. Ooh, he lost sight of me. Jam V, jam V. Where is he? Found you. Yeah, oh, that's kinda cool. I've just noticed the reload on, on that. Listen to it. <clears throat> no. Candace, it's Ralph. Tell Dad there's no way in hell I'm spending nuclear armor getting trapped with him in a fucking closet. You can have my number. It's six. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a mushroom cloud to walk into. Ooh. Have a happy holocaust. Is that a dart gun? 
Okay. Missing Android. Oh, okay. Zimmer. By the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. Ooh, weird. Huh, interesting, 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 don't care. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called GEC, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Ooh, interesting. One sec. There we go. Just, I just want a quick save. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Bowen's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. And no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. <coughs> oh, that's weird. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Huh. What's the next quest? 